fear him, obey. Because many times the guy is without the knowledge. Hello? God said, do this. All knowledge says, Jericho, no, it's not going to work. All knowledge says, stick on the Red Sea, not going to work. All knowledge says, pray, Kentucky, will not work. Pray, Sasko Sam, will not work. All knowledge says, it cannot be. Fear God, obey. That is your life on earth. And then he says, the other part, what do you have to do? Drink, eat, be merry. Not be married. He's on klager married. Okay? Drink, eat, be merry, enjoy your day. Now, be careful not with the devil, with God. Look there. We will get to that another time, Ecclesiastes. We will take a Sunday on Ecclesiastes. But the whole thing, <coughs> what is it done? Yet, drink, genie die dag. This is the best of what you can do. How many of us are enjoying our day? If you really have wisdom, you respect God, you fear Him, you obey, and you enjoy your day. I will fear God. I will, fear God. I will respect Him. I will, I will obey my God. And I will enjoy every day. Bottom line. That is at the end of the day of a man of absolute success in every area of his life. Except going overboard with a woman. Yeah. Good. Mag die Heer ons help. Amen. Knowledge. Who do they say, who am I? Jesus says. What is the knowledge? What is the opinion? What is the information that you guys are getting? What information do you have? What is the knowledge? Hello? What is the data up there? No, some say you are this, some say you are that, some say you are that. Peter, you are the Christ, son of the living God. Blessed are you. Why? Because the source of your knowledge was the Father. Hello? You are blessed because the source of your knowledge is God. As on here. So out of that revelation, on that revelation knowledge, God will build his church. Bible knowledge, be careful. Be careful. Okay, intellectual knowledge, be careful. All must be there. But in that knowledge, wisdom must overshadow it. Must befrag, moet it befrag. Must Make that knowledge pregnant. <laughs> Wisdom must make the knowledge pregnant so that truth is born. I'm serious. Wisdom must this knowledge, bring this knowledge in my heart to bring forth. It's actually in the word, you know, what I'm saying. I know it sounds very jokerish, but... Uh, <laughs> it's in the word. Okay. So this word, it needs to come in under the hand of God. Wisdom. Wisdom with capital letter. Christ must be seen. I'm in labor till Christ is formed. You need to be in labor in intensity in your life till Christ is formed. <sighs> Truth is birthed in this area of my life. Wow. You have knowledge that brings Truth. Truth sets me free to have that intimate relationship. And I use this knowledge, this, and I, under the wisdom of God, the hand of God, bringing forth truth so that I can have intimate relationship with God. I'm set free to have eternity, to have a relationship with eternity, with Zoe life, with true life, with true provision, with true presence, with that what makes sense, that what is not vanity. That what is not just chasing the wind. That what is not all that other things that so many nations will call success that this man had. Like you would see no other one in the world, according to what the world would say, the success of this man. <clears throat> Don't find a lot of them in the Bible, according to the world standard. Mr. Solomon, most probably number one. 
And at the bottom line, this is what he's saying. Where are you chasing the wind, my brother, my sister? Where are you involved with vanity? Don't be deceived. Ask the Spirit of God to open up your eyes to see where you have this vanity, this veil of vanity, and where is God. Because in the context of relationship, there's knowledge that God don't want to give you. Once again, if we talk about different spiritual houses, there's revelations and there's revelations and there's teachings and there's teachings. There's teachings that God don't want you to get into now because there's certain teachings that you must first put on the ground because you stand accountable for everything that you know. Hello? So let us, let us understand that. Let's, let's be focused in what needs to happen. Amen? We are the bride of Christ. Where is Christ with us? Is he in the bedroom with all respect? Is he in the lounge? Is he with us in the kitchen? If you are the bride and the bridegroom is in the kitchen and you go and lay in the bedroom and think it's time for intimacy, with all respect, are you following the bridegroom? His name is Christ. Or in all arrogance, who are you following? And you will see, and we will see it in the body. Because the more and the more the body will be identified as the bride will come forth. The bride will come forth. Amen? Are we with one another? Relationship and revelation comes together. Relationship and revelation. Let's say, I receive revelation for the sake of relationship. God reveals this word to me, and the Spirit of God is consumed with what the heart of the Father is. Relationship. His heart is relating, relating, relating in everything that you know. Word-wise, intellectually-wise, study seven years in university. If God says so, you better do it, and you better pass every exam so that you can use that stage to tell the people who is Christ, so that you will, the world will know because of the stage that God is giving you, giving interventions, giving, giving this uh, innovative uh, spirit inside of you to bring forth ideas that the world will say, where on earth did you get that? I've studied, but you know, this was just truly God in all of this because what I studied was under His grace, and in His grace, this is what He taught me. Amen. Allow God to give you a stage by being faithful in your knowledge, in the study of what you need to know. Roman 11, we going for a landing. Romans 11. Oh, the depths of the riches, both of the no wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgment and his ways past finding out. For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has become his counselor, or who has first given to him that it shall be repaid to him? For of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be the glory forever. Amen. Unsearchable. The wisdom and the knowledge of God unsearchable. You cannot find it. So why will we then try to find it? All that it is saying, like we said, is when you find something, you realize you ain't seen nothing yet. You think one plus one is two, and when you know that, you know maths. And then you know that. You say, you can't smile there. <laughs> one plus one. He says, only what is the meisters what we must watch you. There's no doctoral theology here, Sonny. What are we saying? Now, you let me from my point of view. I was not responding. But all the knowledge that he said. One plus one is two. Great. And then you realize there's actually other samikis that are also made. Two plus two is four. Oh, and ten. And there's a multiply and there's a four-sided carrot and a. <laughs> And uh, 
Dat was een goeie in dat. Wat is dat? I don't know. Vierkans wortel, man. Um, whatever. So, let's focus. Praise the Lord. Um, wat wil ik zien? Ja, yeah, the more we get into it, the more you know there is so much that we don't know. There's major scientists in the world that realize that actually, yeah, we don't know. The arrogant fool in pride then come with these conclusions of the finality of information of that what was not unsearchable, but searchable, and therefore the conclusion, we are all a lot of baboons that grew up. <clears throat> and the wisdom and the knowledge of the world is made a display of foolishness without them even knowing it. But God have mercy on them as with us, for that type of seed is also in our lives where we live like a baboon because of a revelation of not knowing who we are in Christ but making stupid baboonish decisions in our lives. Hello? <clears throat> we with one another. Guys, it can be very exciting. So for eternity to come to know who he is. And the more you will know, the more you will know that there's so much more that you can know. Oh, the depth of the riches. Like when you open a treasure and you thought there were a billion rand in there. All right, it will be too big. A billion dollar check. Okay. And then there was so much more. When you think you found everything you realize I've not seen anything yet. And that is the attitude that is coming forth from this. That the more you know, the more you are in love, the more you stand in wow with your science, with your psychology, with your whatever you are studying and what you, whatever skill you have. That is how you must be. That, that's how we need to live, man. Go and brag about the awesome intelligence, unsearchable depth of wisdom and knowledge, 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 knowledge of who our God is. Amen. Ephesians 1, verse 17. We are still going for the landing. Amen. Hallelujah. Ephesians 1, verse 17. <clears throat> 21. This is the prayer of Paul to the congregation in Ephesians. If, Ephesus, 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 that one. I pray, I do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. This is not just spiritual. This is not opening up the Bible. My brother, get that into yourself. Amen? This is out there in your job with people, with everything that you do or do not do. So that there you will have the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you don't see like just the baboon, but you have insight, not just sight that you may know what is the hope of His calling. That is the hope of His calling for you. That means, why are you here? What is your mandate? If you can understand that, you will not chase the wind. It will not be vanity. If you can have the wisdom, because through the spirit of understanding, to understand the wisdom and the knowledge of God, so that you can weet what mag you here op aarde. What are you doing here? Why are you not dead? There must be a reason. But if you want to know anything that is not vanity, you need the wisdom of God. You need God's grace to give you that spirit of understanding so that you first will understand what is the mandate for me here on earth. Amen. 
this, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, the riches of the glory, the, the reichtum van heerlijkheid, there's riches in people and in places, but it's for his inheritance. I have a mandate here on earth, but I will be a co-heir of this inheritance of Christ. But first of all, it is for him. It's not, I'm taking my inheritance first. For what, 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 what? No, 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 not. There's no Canaan if God is not God of Canaan. I don't want that Canaan. That's what Moses said, remember? I don't want the Canaan from God. I want God in the Canaan. The Canaan was not from the devil, it was from God. You don't want the Canaan that is from God. You want Canaan where God is in that Canaan. Amen. Is his inheritance. Don't play around. He has a mandate for you here on earth. Fear God. Obey him. That's the bottom line. The rest is vanity. Fear God. Obey him. Finish. Know your calling. That's it. And from that place you will grow. Okay? Then know everything belongs to him. And you are here so that his inheritance will be him for him. Nations at his feet. I will not stand alone. Salakom et liande. Near. I will not meet my maker like that by his grace, but to bring forth his inheritance for him there. Amen? That was the second one. The riches of the glory of his inheritance and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty hand and his mighty power which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead. This power, what is this power? It's more than life itself. Because I can be so consumed chasing the wind to sustain my life. But mark ye, you try to cope with life. Ye will see a mark that ye live. You do what you do so that there's bread to eat. You do what you do and you drive in a certain way so that you will stay alive. Huh? But beyond everything that you do to live, there's a power that's alive that is even greater than that and if i can get into that life and that power i'm not chasing the wind i'm not with vanity i'm in a different dimension that i'm walking that i'm living god we want to be there change our lives lord arrest our lives forgive us lord for all the vanity forgive us for all this chasing of wind, for all this deception, for all this looking at how you must just bless me in the context of success, how the world sees it. Lord, forgive us. We, will, we choose to respect you, to fear your name, and to obey you, and to enjoy every day with you. Forgive us for making life so complex, Lord. Forgiving for make for making a life with you so complex, Lord. Forgive us for putting everything in separate compartments. Forgiving, forgive us for using the knowledge to build a Babel for ourselves and not your kingdom. Show us, Holy Spirit, where did we build Babels with our lives? Change our hearts, Lord. Change our lives. You're sitting here and you know that knowledge had an influence on you that you felt insecure, that you felt I'm not worthy, that you felt I don't have what it takes, or even you're sitting here and knowledge told you, you are the one. You are the one. You are now a somebody because of your knowledge. Both sides of the coin. I just want you to stand right now and as you repent from that. You say, God, I repent from this, and I turn away from this knowledge telling me what is, who am I? This thing will not tell me anymore who am I. God, I pray for everyone standing, including myself. I'm standing, Lord. Say, God, forgive me. Forgive us. We need to change, and we are changing right now. We break with the spirit of intellectualism in the name of Jesus Christ. That demonic spirit of intellectualism, you will not touch our lives anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. 
by the blood of Christ, set us free, Lord, in the name of Jesus. So that we say and proclaim everyone that is standing today, we proclaim that knowledge will be our servant. Will be our servant to serve the mandate that we have here on earth. And with that, we will fear God and use knowledge to come to the place of intimacy with you, Lord. That is our decision. I pray for everyone to be set free, everyone that is standing, reaching out to you, that they will see that breakthrough, that they will take that breakthrough. Everyone that is standing, that they will have that revelation right now. Let your hand be strong over them, Lord, that as they surrender that knowledge to you right now, that the wisdom will come over them and it will bring forth truth, truth, truth. Freedom to relate. Freedom to have a relationship with Christ in a higher, higher, new dimension. I speak that forth to everyone that is standing, everyone that is reaching out to you, Lord. I trust you for that breakthrough for them. That we who are standing, God, will stand on that, with that stature for that breakthrough, for that breakthrough that is from you and from you alone. We break with that intellectualism, Lord. The thought life will not hold us back. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We repent from vanity. We repent from chasing the wind, Lord. But we choose to be effective. We choose to be effective. Let your spirit be upon these guys, these women, these men, these women that are standing, Lord, that are wanting, desiring this breakthrough, that they will have it. They will have it. That is their portion tonight. That is what they will receive. With the corporate anointing here, they it's taken, it's given to them right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.